Hello friends, welcome back to the video series on basics of cell scripting. In this video, we will discuss how we can read the content of any file using the while loop. Practically, there are several options to do the same task. Here, we will discuss about some of them. Now, about the first option. And the first option is using the input redirection. As you know, we are working on the hello.sh file as like the previous videos. So, at first we are opening the hello.sh and you know what is the skeleton of the while do and done. That means the while loop and we should work on while for the particular task. And here at first we are deleting the variable n is equal to 1 or something. Now that is the skeleton of the while loop. Now we are writing while after that R E A D read then the P or small p. Now what is the meaning of read? That means the read comment and p that is the variable where we would save the content of the file line by line. Then do and after that the comment that is echo then dollar p and after that done but here we are using the redirection and for that done after that a space and the less than sign then a space and the name of the file that means for which file we want to read the content and here we are providing hello.sh that means the file itself so control s to save the file and let's check what should be the output so here bash sorry at first we have to navigate to the desktop folder because the hello.sh in the desktop folder so hello.sh so here we are executing the script bash then hello.sh and you can see the output is here here how the input redirection works the content of the file hello.sh is redirected to the while loop from start until the end line and once again what is the redirection sign that less than sign is the input redirection sign so after executing of the script we are getting the content of the file itself now the second option and the second option is using the pipes that means the piping symbols so here we are providing that is cat and here we are writing suppose at first cat comment then the name of the file that is hello.sh and after that we are providing a space and the piping symbol or the pipe symbol then while read p do the same job whatever the content of the file is the output by the cat comment and then it is input in the while loop and by read saved into the variable p in that case so control a is to save the file and let's check what happens with the output but here there is an error we are not using the redirection side so here the script ends with 
done that's why we are saying whatever the content of the file is the output by the cat comment and then it is input in the while loop and by read saved into the variable p so we are not using the redirection sign here we are using the piping symbol and the cat comment so control s to save the file and once again check the output so here bash hello dot sh and you can see the output is here as like the content of the file or the script hello dot sh although these two methods are useful for the task sometimes these two methods may fail due to the presence of some special characters in the content of the file so we may use another method although in this method we would use the read method we would also use the ifs method and the ifs stands for internal fields operator so how we can use the ifs let edit the script file so here at first we have to start from the while then there must be a space and after that we are providing ifs in capital then the equal sign then a space is there always remember the space or the blank is must be there then read then the space then minus r another space and then line so practically minus r flag prevents the backslash escape from being interpreted and line means the name of the variable here so once again minus r flag prevents the backslash escape from being interpreted so after that the do then echo here we are providing the variable name line and after that done and the redirection so here hello dot sh so once again the redirection is used Control s to save the file let's check what should be the output at first we are clearing the screen and once again we are executing the script so here the output is found same as the content of the script file now instead of this blank that blanks means here instead of this blank after the ifs we can also use the single quote and blank between so here we are changing the code like single quote starts then a space then the end of the single quote and after that one second a space so a space must be in between the single quote and a space here also and the remaining lines or the codes same so control s to save the file and let's check what should be the output here bash hello dot sh and you can see the output is the same as like the content of the hello dot sh script file now we can also use the absolute path of any file to read suppose we have a file that is host.conf and for that suppose we are trying to find out what is the content of that particular file suppose cat slash etc slash host dot conf what is the output here is the content of the particular host.conf file let's check how we can read that particular file so here just we have to change 
the file name with the absolute path so here just simply write down slash etc slash h o s t dot c o n f control s to save the file and let's check what is the output here one second control l to clear the screen and here one second we are getting the output or the content of the host.conf from using the cat command and now using the script so both are same so we can also use other method like file descriptor to do the same task and that would be discussed later so that is how we can read any file content using the while loop in bash cell script if you find the video is useful then you can like share comment and don't forget to subscribe channel.